What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to show you how to make these beautiful pantry labels. So these pantry labels, I'm going to show you how to make in Canva using the free version. So I just want to go through the jars with you first, where I got the jars from, and just a little bit about the labels. So these large jars here I purchased from IKEA Canada. And then I have these jars here that I purchased off Amazon. So these ones have like a bamboo lid and they're really sturdy, which is awesome. And then these labels, I bought this label paper off of Amazon as well, and then I just used my printer that I have at home. So these labels are matte, and they're actually waterproof labels. So I'll show you at the end of the video if they're actually waterproof or not, which is kind of cool. I have a hack for you. So, want to know how to cook this rice? Well, you just put the instructions onto the back of the jar. And I used this double-sided tape to put it on the back. And there you go. I'm going to be making the labels on these bigger jars a bit bigger. On these ones here, I did two inches by two inches. And then I think I'm gonna be doing maybe a four by four label on this one. And then maybe uh, three inches by three inches on this one. So here's the list of the labels I need to make and let's get started. Okay, so you're gonna wanna go download Canva. You can use the free version to make these labels. Once it's downloaded, create a design. And you're going to go to custom size and go to inches. And I'm going to do 8.5 by 11 inches, which is the size of my paper. Then go over to elements. And you're going to select on shapes. And select the square with the border here. And then you're going to change your color to black. So you can either leave the border on the label or you can um, just trim it off when you're cutting them down. I just use it as a guide to trim it. So here you can adjust the size you want. So I'm going to do four inches by four inches. Just drag it up here. Zoom in so you can see a bit better. Then I'm going to go to text. Add a heading and then just drag it in the middle there and you can see it'll line up in the middle and select it. I'm going to make this one white flower. Then you just highlight it. So I'm going to use the Cooper Hewitt font, which is just what I like for this label. You can do whatever font you like. Then you're going to go to lines and select a line that you like and you just drag it back that so you can adjust the size of it, drag it up and you can shorten it, make it however long you want. Then you can select here, select the line weight here and make it either thinner or thicker and then the color. So I'm going to do it in gray. And I think that looks good. Then you can select it and press Command C and Command V, and then you'll, you'll drag it down. And you'll see it'll line up there. Then you're going to go to Text and then drag that up to the top, select it, and then I write number one. Select it again and then change the font. You can do different fonts or the same one for all of it, it's up to you. Drag it up 
down a bit more. Just play around with it. And you can put the lines or no lines, whatever you like. Let me add another text. And then I write all natural. And then I just highlight that again. And change it to that font. And you don't have to write all natural. You can write whatever, whatever you like there. Looks good. There we go. Then what you're going to do is select all of it, all of the elements at the same time. Press Command C and Command V. And then you'll have that same, and then you'll have another one the same. Then you can just move that over a little bit. So make sure you select all of it when you're moving it, otherwise it'll just move one element at a time. And then we'll just select that, change to number two, select that, and then change it to your next pantry item. White sugar, oops, I'm going to put that in cat blocks there. And then we have our second label, and I'm going to select it again. Command C and Command B, drag it down, and just do the same thing. Change the number, and we're just going to select that and then change it to rolled oats. And there we go. And then the same thing again for this one. And so all four of these labels are the same size, which is four inches by four inches. And then for the next one, I'll show you how to change the size on them again. So we've got quick oats, and then I'm gonna highlight it again. And do the Command C and Command V. And then I'm gonna drag this one down to a new page. So just press add page and then drag it down. All right, that one's gonna be number five and then I'm gonna highlight that again and change it to breadcrumbs. So this label, I'm going to make a three by three, three inches by three inches. So I'm just going to drag the corner in and you can see the size of it as you drag it. So I want it three by three. There we go. And then I just drag all the elements up and kind of just move them around where I want them or make them smaller. So I'm going to make the breadcrumbs smaller. There we go. So I'm just going to adjust this a little bit just so it fits better with the size. All right, I'm just going to play around with this a little bit and then repeat the process for the remaining labels. So I'm just going to fast forward it so you don't have to see it all over again. Now that everything looks all good and we're all happy with it and we've checked our spelling, then we're going to download it and download as PNG is good. And then once we've downloaded it, we're going to print it. So now I've just opened the file back up here and I'm going to go file print. And print. So I'm going to cut up the labels now and I'm going to use this paper trimmer here. So you can either leave 
the black borders on or you can just use it as a guide. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to use this as a guide to trim them up and take the black off. So it says that these labels are waterproof, so I just thought we would test it out. Oh, here it goes. Oh, look at that. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, please like and subscribe. Yay!